Hello from Captiva. I left Tampa around 4.30 in the morning. Didn't really have a super solid plan down here. So let's see what kind of fun we can get into today. My first stop of the day was JN Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge. There is a four mile wildlife drive where you can stay in your car, hike, or bike. I love getting to places early, but this time it backfired because of the fog. So after going through twice, I Googled best shelling beaches and ended up at Turner Beach. It costs $5 to park here and there aren't many spots. Bathrooms are available, which is always a bonus. The tide was so low that I was able to walk out on the sandbar easily. I mean, just look at the water quality. Seriously, it does not get better than this. That was wonderful. Also, not easy to walk in the water. Good workout. Back in the car, I just kept driving north on Captiva, passing mansions hidden behind the foliage. Parking is hard to come by in the little downtown area. I eventually ended up near the Civic Center and Library, which was perfect because I wanted to check out the Captiva Cemetery and Chapel by the Sea. It is a quick walk to all the little shops and restaurants from here, but you'll have to share some space with bikers and watch out for cars as well. My family used to vacation on Captiva, so it was fun to see places like the Bubble Room and Mucky Duck. It brings back a lot of memories. So I saw some jet skis on the beach and thought that might be fun. <laughs> This has been on my fluck and slash bucket list for a long time. I don't think I've ever driven a jet ski. Piloted a jet ski? Driven a jet ski. That sounds more accurate. And you know what? It's pretty fun, especially today when the water is so smooth. I'm taking a break right now, having a snack, looking for any wildlife. This is a dream. By the way, before I got out on the water, I had to pass a boater safety course. It only took about 20 minutes and I got by with flying colors. It's good for 90 days, so watch out. This might happen again. I did go more than 50, briefly though, briefly. All right, hours up, gotta go back on land. Whoa. Thank you. Have fun. It was so pretty out there. It was nice to just like be out on the water. I returned to Jay and Ding Darling to see it fog free and it was beautiful. The white pelicans were definitely the draw for many people. Okay, one final stop and it's an obvious one. Of course, I'm talking about the Sanibel Lighthouse. It's a must see if you're in the area. It's just so unique. Plus it was dressed up for Christmas. How cute is that? Okay, so that is a wrap on my day here in Sanibel and Captiva. If you are interested in getting ideas for more fun stuff to do around the Bay Area and beyond, subscribe to this channel. Bye.